Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'll be doing an updated review of New Line Writer. If you didn't know, New Line Writer is a content optimization tool which allows you to optimize your web pages and your blog posts to rank on the first page of Google. The reason why I wanted to do an updated review is because the lifetime deal is coming to an end for New Line Writer on AppSumo. So at the time of recording this video, there is seven days available for the lifetime deal, but I'll probably be releasing this video a little bit later. So you may have about four days left just depending on when this video is uploaded. So if you wanted to go ahead and get the lifetime deal for New and Writer, I highly recommend that you go out and grab it from AppSumo before it's gone. The lifetime deal starts at $59 and for $59 you get 25 content editors each month. So that means that you can optimize 25 pieces of content each month. You also get 15,000 monthly AI credits. So as we'll be going over in a little bit, New Writer does have a built-in AI copywriter, so it allows you to write content using AI, and um, you get 15,000 credits included, which is actually quite a lot. And you also get some other features included, but if you wanted, you can stack your codes. So if you wanted to get 50 content editors and 30,000 monthly AI credits, then you would just uh, buy a second plan, which would be another $59. And if you're a heavy hitter and you create a lot of content, you can stack three codes and get 75 content editors and 45 thousand monthly AI credits. As you can see, New Writer is a very highly rated tool. It has over 304 reviews and it has an average rating of five stars. So you can see that people are loving this tool. And if you went ahead and actually read through these reviews, um, you can see that it's been very useful for many people. So again, if you wanna grab this lifetime deal, I highly recommend that you grab it before it's gone because most of the times when these tools are gone from AppSumo, you're not able to get them after the fact. And I get a lot of people hitting me up asking me how they can get the lifetime deal. But if it's gone from AppSumo, there's really no other way in which you can get the lifetime deal. Once you have a plan for Neuron Writer, the first thing that you want to do is create a new project. You want to go ahead and actually connect your domain in which you're creating content to run. This way, Neuron Writer will actually give you recommendations based on your specific domain and um, allow you to know exactly what you need to do if you want to rank for a blog post or a, for a specific keyword for that specific domain. So this is a very neat feature. So you can actually get started by um, putting your domain here, or you can actually go ahead and get started by just starting a project without um, actually connecting your domain. And once you connect your domain, you want to get started with the content writer. So this is where you would be able to optimize your blog post topic, and you'll be able to get recommendations based upon the SERP and based upon the competition for a specific keyword. So you want to go ahead and enter the topic or the keyword in which you would like to rank for in this field. Just before we continue this review, I want to let you know that I recently recorded a full 30 minute in-depth training on how I went from zero to over 10 K per month from this YouTube channel. So if you want to go ahead and check out that free training, I'll leave a link below. And you can also go ahead and select the location which you're trying to rank for. So if you're in the States, of course, you want to keep that to the States, that would be google.com. But you can actually go ahead and choose um, whichever specific location you're trying to rank for. And you can also go ahead and change your language. And if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and create multiple analysis at once. So for instance, in this example, we're only trying to rank for one keyword. But for the most part, you may be trying to rank for a cluster of keywords. So if you wanted to get optimization recommendations for a cluster of keywords, then you can go ahead and choose this feature. And as you can see for the example here, um, you can start getting recommendations for variations of that keyword that you're trying to rank for. But for this example, we'll just stick to one keyword. Once you're happy, go ahead and click get started. So for this example, we're trying to write and rank for a blog post about the benefits of green tea. So new and writer will go out on Google and take a look at the top 10 or the top 25 um, rankings for this specific keyword and grab all of the key information such as the word count, such as the type of content in which they're including their H1, their H2 tags, and all the other ranking factors in which allow these blog posts to rank on the first page of Google. And it'll put it all into one place in which you'll be able to get recommendations and then follow those recommendations to increase the likeness of ranking your blog posts for this specific keyword. So once your analysis is ready, just go ahead and click on that specific keyword. And the first prompt here is for you to actually go ahead and choose the competitors for guidelines generation. So, so in this section, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you're selecting only relevant competitors. So if there's a YouTube video or a core answer, you wanna go ahead and deselect that. So you wanna go ahead and look through these specific competitors and only choose the ones that are most related to your website. So once you've went ahead and selected or deselected your competitors, go ahead and click next, and then you'll be prompted to the content editor. So this is where you'll actually go ahead and create your content and optimize it all in one place. 
So on the left hand side here, this is where you'll paste your article content. On the right hand side here, this is where you'll get your content optimizations. On the right hand side here, you have a content score. So the content score will start at zero and it will go all the way up to 800. So you want to go ahead and try to optimize your content to as close to 100 as possible. And if we scroll down here, we'll be able to see the content terms. So these are the terms that were used within the top rank blog post for this specific keyword. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you're including these keywords within your blog post. Naturally, you may already have these keywords included in your blog post, but you want to make sure that you're following the recommendations as to how many times these keywords need to be included in your blog post. So these would be the keywords that you need to include within your H1, your H2, or your H3 tags. On the right hand side here, we'll also get some ideas. So these are content ideas in which you can use in your article. So the first section here will be the questions to answer. Let's go ahead and open this up. So as you can see, these are questions that people are asking related to this keyword on Google. So what are the benefits of green tea? What will happen if I drink green tea every day? What are the disadvantages of green tea? Can green tea reduce belly fat? Is it better to drink green tea at day or at night? And so on. So this is really, really good, um, especially if you're kind of short on content. You can go ahead and find some really good content ideas here. You can also go ahead and take a look at your competitors H1 and H2 sections. So again, go ahead and click on the plus button and you'll be able to have a bunch of recommendations that you can include for your H1 sections. And again, just repeat the process for H2. Again, a bunch of different recommendations in which you can use in this article. On the right hand side, you have a YouTube ideas tab. So this is where you'll actually be able to um, pull some YouTube videos related to your keyword. So this can be very helpful because a lot of times um, YouTube videos will have a lot of unique information that you may not find on a Google blog post. So you can go ahead and um, look at these actual videos and this will give you some ideas again for content to which you can include in your blog post. Or if you're turning your blog post also into a YouTube video, then this will give you good ideas of what you need to include in that video. So that's most of the optimization features. But as I mentioned earlier, there's a built-in AI copywriter within Nuon Writer. So in order to use this AI copywriter, just go ahead and find a idea or a keyword in which you would like the AI to write about. So Let's go ahead and grab a questions to answer. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and click the drop down menu. So what are the benefits of green tea? Let's go ahead and paste that onto the content editor. Now, if you wanna go ahead and use the AI copywriter, just highlight that content. And as you can see, the AI writing prompt will show up. Go ahead and click onto that and you can start a paragraph. You can expand or you can rephrase that specific sentence. But for this example, let's go ahead and start a paragraph. So what are the green tea benefits? And this is the content in which we get back. Green tea has many health benefits, including improved brain function, lower risk of cancer and a lower risk of stroke. Okay, so pretty decent text um, that you have here. And if you want to go ahead and use that, just go ahead and click use this text. And if you wanted to further expand that specific sentence, you can go ahead and highlight the last sentence. And again, go ahead and click start paragraph. And um, the AI will pick up from where it left off and add some more content onto that specific section. So as you can see here, we get some more content. Green tea has many health benefits, including improved brain function, blah, blah, blah. Green tea contains antioxidants that can help protect the brain from damage and the caffeine in green tea can improve brain function. Okay, so we get some decent text here that we can use in a blog post. It's really useful to have a built-in AI copywriter in your content optimization tool because if you don't have access to an external AI copywriter, then you can save some money because you're just paying for one plan, but also it just makes it very convenient to add more content onto your blog post by using the built-in AI. Another way in which you can use the AI is just head over to content terms and let's do terms in articles. And um, let's go ahead and try to find a term in which we can expand upon. You can copy this term to your clipboard, go ahead and paste it onto your content optimization here. Highlight that, sometimes it's a little bit weird. Highlight that text, go ahead and click on AI writing, click expand, and here you go, you have a lot of content here about the antioxidants and the benefits of green tea. Again, if you wanna go ahead, you can go ahead and use that text, or um, you can go ahead and generate a different output. And as you can see, the content score is improving, but of course you have a lot more work to be done to get this um, to an 80 plus, but um, this gives you a nice indicator um, that you're improving or optimizing your content. And you're also able to see the target word count. So you see how many words you have and how many words you have remaining. You're also able to see the number of headers, the number of H2 tags, the number of bolds, and the number of images within your content.
On the right side of the content editor will be the top analysis. So this will give you a breakdown of that specific keyword. We can see the query difficulty, which will be pretty much the keyword difficulty number. Um, it says it's not too competitive, so that's a good sign. We can also see a preview of the SERP result for this specific keyword. And if you scroll down, you'll see a breakdown of the competitors. We can see their on-site content score. We can see their page authority. We can see their page rank and so on. You can also see a structured breakdown of your competitor. So this is pretty cool. Um, it'll actually go ahead and give you all of the outlines um, that your competitors are using to rank for the first page of Google. So essentially, if you go through this information, you will see exactly what you need to do and include within your blog post if you want to rank on the first page of Google. And you also have some keyword ideas. So you'll get some variations or some similar keywords to the target keyword in which you're trying to rank for. Our target keyword is the benefits of green tea, but we can see that we get some variations of that keyword, such as benefits of green tea for skin, benefits of green tea with lemon, when to drink green tea, and so on. So a lot of really good content ideas here in which you can use to improve and rank for other keywords for your blog. And the last tab here is the content terms. So again, we're able to see what are the most important terms that we need to include within our blog post to rank on the first page of Google. So as you can see, New Run Writer is a very powerful and a very effective content optimization tool. Again, if you wanna go ahead and grab the lifetime deal for this tool before it expires, I'll go ahead and leave a link below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're able to use New Run Writer within your business to optimize and rank your blog posts and web pages. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.